Howdy, Possum Patty here, and today is hashtag Share Your Art Saturday. So come on along. Yesterday, I was working on the Friday prompt for hashtag Stencil with Us co-hosted by Susan at Susan Hiles Art and Sherry at Turquoise Dreaming. And we were to make some motherboards yesterday. I only finished one of them, well, almost finished one of them, and I started three more. So I think today my art project will be to finish these motherboards. And the first one I did was my vintage color one. And we were to make a motherboard using stencils and then make some tags. So if you want to see how I made these tags, you can see the big stencils on there and some smaller stencils in the background. I will link that video below. And these I wanted to look sort of vintagey, grungy, steampunky, whatever. So today I'm going to work on these. I don't know how far I'm going to get, but let me show you the background that I did so far. I started with a gelato um, background and then I did some stamping. So these colors here would be the gelato and then you can see the stamping over there. And then I took some large stencils and I used the makeup brushes to do a soft pattern on the background these like big ferns and then I took a mixture of iridescent medium which is kind of thick almost like a texture paste and put in a little bit of acrylic paint to get the different colors and did a more um, three-dimensional one very shiny so on the brown tags, the next step I did was to add butterflies. And I actually did that using gouache. So I'm mixing all the media. So this is sort of like a mixed media background because I have gelatos and ink and acrylic. And now I'm gonna put some gouache, gouache is like an opaque watercolor. And I wasn't doing very well with that. There goes my clock. So, let's see if I can do better on here. So this is sort of like a, almost an aqua and some greens and some darker greens and sort of like a olive maybe. So maybe I do have aqua, but I also have turquoise. I think I'm going to go with the turquoise. Now these gouaches are getting kind of old. I'm using my pliers to open it up. And they will dry up in the tube. Same thing like with that medium, that I, the iridescent medium. Oh my gosh, I don't know how many years ago I bought that. Probably at the AC Moore or somewhere. So I'm using makeup sponges from the Dollar Tree. And I do want to get it a little wet, but not a lot. So I think I'll put water on the gouache with a brush because if it's too wet then it seeps under the stencil and doesn't stamp very well so let me see how this goes all right I'm just going to put a butterfly right there Get a little paint on my sponge. Now these are not meant to be like precision stenciling. It's just 
you know, background kind of stenciling. Well, it came out pretty good. Okay, we'll do another one. So I'm just going to go around the page and put in some butterflies and I'll come back and show you the finished product. I wanted them to come out sort of looking like this one here. So in places where I gunked up too much paint, I just add a little water. I did this on the first one and lift up some of that darker color, kind of make it look a little bit more watery. I think that's a nicer effect than like a big solid color. I don't know why I put three butterflies all here in a row, but that's okay. That's okay. They're going to get cut up into tags anyway. Just add a little water and dab. Give it a softer look. I don't like this big blob right there. Pick some of that up. Lighten it up anyway. Another thing I did with the first one, because I got a little paint left over here, is I took a little bit of the watery paint and sort of went over these stencils and then wiped it quickly with a cloth to give them kind of like a little bit of an outline. And then I took a wet towel and just kind of Lob that up a little bit. Just kind of makes the edge. You can see the paint in the edge of the stencil there. watercolor probably won't stick to the acrylic anyway. But I'm trying to get it down. Oh, this is watercolor paper. I'm trying to get it down on the watercolor paper. Just for funsies. And blot and I'm just gonna do one more and then I'll be right back okay I dried that off almost dry and I what did I do next the next step was to cut this into tags put a focal point distress the edge and Mod Podge so I'm gonna go cut this into tags and I shall be right back so here's my tags, here's my punchinella. I still have a little room on here. I can cut out some flowers or something. So I'm gonna put this aside because I have some tiny, you know, flower dies like that. I could always make flowers. And I did put a little bird die up in one corner because it was a big space. So, thinking about what I did next. I think what I did next was add ephemera a focal point from this Tim Holtz Field Notes pack, which is falling all over the floor. 
and each tag is different because it got a different piece of the motherboard so it's the mother of all the baby tags so these are the baby tags from the motherboard you can see the large stencil and the smaller stencils and then even the background stencils on that one okay so what I'm going to do is just go through here and see what I like on each one. I'm going to save these pink and reddish orange ones. Ooh. Uh oh. All right, stand by. Just a little bit of paint globbed in the corner there was starting to get all over. Um, yeah, I'm not always the best at doing piecework like this. If I'm doing a page and I want a tag for it, I usually just make the tag for it. A uh, few times I have. paint everywhere sorry um, done a project I think I made rusty buttons one day and a few other things ooh big beetle he's going on one of them he's a nice butterfly and let's see ooh good mushroom Colors go well. And interesting flowers. Some of the bigger tags I put two, two things. Like a butterfly and a flower or mushroom. takes up a lot of room. That could be like a focal point for that one. Now this comes with other things like old stamps. But I was just using the flowers and the bugs. Looks like a rose. Some of these have to be punched out like that. I think this guy needs something down here. Some yellow flowers. Need some small things over there. Digging through the pile here. There's a specimen card. Maybe the beetle can get a specimen card. Oh, here's a little mushroom. I bought these a while back at Hobby Lobby and I hadn't used them yet. I put them with my garden journal stuff. I wonder if this is too dark for there. I might leave it. I might, I might. Or go with something a little more open like this one. Okay, that's good, that's good. I've got to put some of this stuff away. Yeah, you know, when you're doing, when I did the motherboards and I started with the gelatos and then took out the ink for stamping and then did some stenciling. And then did some more stenciling with the Acrylic medium, iridescent. And then did some more stenciling with the gouache. So now all over the floor and all over my table I have paint and ink and 
gouache and medium and die cuts and stencils and stamps and, and just, you know, every, every, everything. It's a one big happy mess. I like these Tim Holtz. I'm going to have to get another one. I think I bought this at Hobby Lobby when the Tim Holtz was on sale. I think it was 40% off. So it was $5.99, 40% off. So I'm going to go ahead and glue the rest of these down. I'll be right back. Okay, so now they have their focal point or points. Keep them from popping up. So what did I do next? I think I went around the edge with some ink. Get a bunch of ink here. And the sponge for this is, I'm so glad you can't see anywhere but right here right now. It's a mess. It's a mess. It's a mess. So I went around the edge with our usual distressing. So I'm just going to do this. And then on the other side, on the other side. I'll show you one and then I'll do the other ones off camera as it's going to be the same thing. Okay now um, when this goes through my Big Shot machine it kind of leaves a little bit of an imprint because my plates are really worn so sometimes if you go like this you can get some of the design but not too much showed up on this one. Okay, and then I put lines using this. And what I did was I just, oops, tapped it into here and then pressed it down like that. So you can write on the back. Oh, come on, come on, let's get a let's get a new start here. I was using this on my jelly plate the other day. Better, better. Perfect. I mean, it's imperfect, which makes it perfect. Okay, I'm going to finish these up. Okay, all the inking is done around the edge and stamped with the uh, little cardboard things. So the last step to turn them back over. And get my cup and my brush. And I'm going to take a little bit of this matte medium. Don't have too much left. And I'm going to seal in all the water media that's on there. Although I think distress inks are water media too. Anyway, I'm going to take a little bit, a little dab of this extreme glitter Mod Podge and mix it in with the matte medium. 
Oops. Never know where to put the brush. I used to have a brush holder. Mr. Possum commandeered it. I don't know what he'd do with it. Okay, mix this up. So this is matte medium and glitter, extreme glitter mod podge. And when you do this, sometimes you will get um, a little bit of the color coming off, but that's okay. I think it kind of gives it a nice finish, kind of blends everything in together. Plus seals it in. Then I will let these dry for several hours. And then they are good to go. So I'll probably go ahead and do the last two the same exact way off camera and then come back and show you the final results. I know my fingers are a mess right now. You can see in the cup that a little bit of that green is coming off. Just don't press too hard. Go over lightly. Okay, I just finished putting on the mixture of Mod Podge and Matte Medium on this last batch of cards. I'll show them to you and I'm going to put them aside to dry and then I'll show you the other cards, how they came out. So this was the sort of reddish, orangish, but wound up having some sort of pinkish in there. And I did use the Tim Holtz Field Notes on these. You can see all the stenciling still in the background. But the uh, theme on these with butterflies and flowers, except for this little one, got a little dragonfly. Another butterfly and a flower. And this one got a bee and a specimen card. But look at those colors. Aren't those colors gorgeous? Sort of pink and red and orange. And this one got an orange butterfly. You can see the stenciling in the background. Okay, I'm going to move these aside to dry. And I'm going to go to the floor and pick up the other ones that are already dry. For the sort of pinkish purplish set, I went with a bird sort of feather and egg theme. And most of them came from this set of feathers, which I don't remember where they came from. They might have been gifted to me. So the little ones have an egg. This one has a label and an egg. And this one has a little feather. And another egg. And a little feather. And a little bit larger feather. And this one's so sweet with the uh, circles on it. I like that. I love these purples and pinks. So just a little touch of like aqua or turquoise in there. Now this one is a sticker from the Dollar Tree. Almost looks like a passenger pigeon. Which is extinct. And this one has a specimen label and a feather. And this one has two feathers. And this one has two feathers. So I thought these were really fun. So I did go with a different theme on these. Feathers and eggs. And 
birds. Now the green ones do have the Tim Holtz on them too. The little one has a mushroom. A mushroom. A mushroom. Look at the colors in the background. So pretty. I love this one. Big stenciling there. A little focal point. This one has some flowers. You can see a stenciling all in the background. This one has a butterfly. You can see the stenciling there. Butterfly and a flower. Butterfly and a flower. And a beetle and a specimen card. So that's how the green ones came out, and that's how the purple ones came out, and the pinkish, orangish, reddish ones are down on the floor drying. And the other, only other thing was the three little ones that I finished up. And of course, I got a mushroom, a butterfly, and a mushroom. Well, here they all are, except for the ones I just decoupaged. I don't decoupage, but Mod Podge. And I think there is exactly three dozen tags, 36 tags from three sheets in different colors, but all sort of a nature or garden theme. And again, this is the part two of hashtag stencil with us co-hosted by Susan at Susan Hiles Art and Sherry at Turquoise Dreaming and I started this on Friday and I didn't finish the other sheets the motherboards we made motherboards with stencils and then we turned the motherboards into tags so here's my finished product. Again, 36 tags. I love them all. Love the purples, love the greens, love the vintage, and love the ones that are down on the floor too. So I just want to thank you for coming along today for Share Your Art Saturday. Bye-bye now.